I don't really like referring to her as the prostitute. She's the one that's not supposed to be a very nice. <laughs> I don't know why the light just went out. After that, it just happened again. This is so weird. Like, I feel like somebody keeps pulling on my tassel. This is so Welcome to Ghost Club Paranormal. Don't go changing that channel now, as we have one hell of a show for you. From wolves that lurk in the dead of night, to modern day technology that is sure to blow your mind. It's the number one stop for spooky folk like you. So turn off the lights and let's get to Ghost Club is sponsored by Hex Hairspray. So I am in California, in Santa Paula right now, and I'm at the Glen Tavern Inn. Again. <laughs> so basically six months ago I was here um, at the same hotel and I was staying on the third floor in room 307 and this time I am staying on the second floor in room 222. <laughs> Just trying to make it sound super, super spooky and it's not even spooky at all. Um, and you're probably wondering why am I back here? Why am I doing an investigation in the exact same place after six months? Well, Michael from Glongles Paranormal, who you know all so well, um, he reached out to me a few days ago and he wanted to come visit here because he hasn't done so yet. And I was just like, yeah, sure, like I'll, I'll come along for the ride. Again, last time I stayed here, um, I did definitely capture a really good EVP and the lights went off on me a couple of times. Um, but that was pretty much the extent of paranormal activity that went on around here. But the second floor, as far as I remember, um, there has been a child spirit seen here. I do genuinely believe that this place is haunted. So I don't know if I told this story before in the last episode or anything like that, but last time I was here I got talking to the guy at the front desk and he was telling me that there was one weird scenario where he had checked a couple in and they couldn't get into their uh, room on the second floor. It was like the card was beeping but there was something blocking the, their bedroom door. So they go downstairs and they asked the people at the counter. It took a few people to come up and actually push the door as hard as they possibly could to find out that the bed had actually been pushed all the way to the door. And there's no way that that was possible. There's no way, there's just no logical explanation for that. So I feel like the second floor in particular has a little bit more that we just don't know about yet. I definitely feel like I'm more of a seasoned paranormal investigator um, since six months ago. Um, so I'm really excited to, you know, get together with Michael again and just see how well we can communicate this time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, something, something happens. Not in the room right now, because I'm scared. Oh my God, it's getting dark. I am such a disgrace. I did not realize that my pillow chocolate wrappers were sitting behind me this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I literally eat those pillow chocolates like the first second that I check into the room so hopefully Michael doesn't like York peppermint pies so I can have his too. I have the creepy heart jacuzzi room. Come on in. Um, 
This is really gross jacuzzi. The, the heart-shaped jacuzzis, it reminds me, I don't know if you ever played The Sims, but like it reminds me in The Sims 1, they had like a heart-shaped jacuzzi. It was a thing. Anyway, and this time, um, I won't leave because I checked, sure? I checked, yeah, I checked, look. And even when you open it, it doesn't, oh. I should, probably shouldn't do that, just in case there's somebody on the other side. Maybe you didn't know, last time we went to do an investigation hotel at the Biltmore, I woke up the next morning with a text from her <laughs> saying, Sorry, I had to leave in the middle of the night. I was too creeped out. I was like, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> she just took off. I'll give you $100 if you can tell me what is inside that ice bucket. The last time you tricked me. This is easier. It's easier this time. Is it lemon cake? Lemon cake? No, look, it's these little Siamese cats. Oh my god. <laughs> the reasons why I'm doing these exercises for you is because I know that you're trying to develop like your mediumship and stuff like that. So, <laughs> I mean, a two-headed Siamese cat definitely like is, is pretty far out there, but you know, when you, you'll get it. I promise you, like one day, one day I'll get it. You'll get that hundred dollars. Uh, <laughs> I have holes in mine too. I was like, yeah, I have holes in curtains. I went to go open like this curtain and like the whole thing fell down. Did you get pillow chocolates? Mm -hmm. Did you eat them? No, you eat them. No, that's okay. In my last episode that I'd done here, um, I bumped into a couple at like 1.30 in the morning. They invited me into their room and I was like, yeah, sure. So I've only been in one other room here and that's the exact same room that Michael is staying in tonight, which is kind of funny. Um, I feel like something's maybe like bringing me back to this room though, right? I can't even talk, I'm literally lost for words because this is um, Michael's jacuzzi tub. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. It's just so sketched out. I'm pretty sure that's the shadow of a dead spider hanging from oh, the, shut up. the top. Do you see that? No. I can't see anything. Right there, you can't see it. Hold on. Dead spider. Ah! Ew, what is that? <laughs> I... Is that a dead spider? I think it's a dead cockroach. Oh, shut up. No, it's not. Why? <laughs> Well, okay, so even if it is a dead spider, it's not gonna fall through the canopy when you're sleeping into your mouth or anything like that. Like, I think you're fine. Have you ever seen the movie Arachnophobia? <laughs> no, what do you see? It's a dusty dead spider up there. Mmm, can I have this? Yes, Thank you. you. Can. So, this hotel is said to be haunted by the prostitute that got decapitated here on the third floor. Also, Calvin the Cowboy, which I actually caught, captured what I think is him on an EVP on my last investigation. Anyway, my head is everywhere right now. I'm gonna see if he wants to communicate again with me. We're gonna set up the laser grid here. I have the REM pod on the bed. Um, the REM pod's been set up for, I don't know, about 15 minutes. It's not went off or anything like that. Um, and then we also have this box here, this portal that we're gonna keep on and see if anything comes through. I need to close this door that I'm gonna be standing in front of because monsters. I don't know if this is paranormal or not, but my head, oh my God, my head has been so be. fuzzy. I have had her head chopped off. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel like I've not been able to string a sentence together like since I got into this room. Again, don't know if that's paranormal or if that's just me like. There are any spirits in this room with us? Could you walk in front of this laser grid? So that we could see that lady uh, who was talking outside is distracting you. Really. Well, I, I got really excited because I saw something glimmering, um, but it was just that York peppermint patty on your bed. All right, if there are any spirits here with us in this room right now, we just want to welcome you. 
we want to make sure that I can't I can't take it serious I can't either. I can't see anything right now. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, look at the hole. Oh. Your toast again, man. Oh my god. That's the scariest thing that's happened all I night. Know. You want to borrow some socks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sit on your chair that's covered with a blanket. I'm afraid to. I'm like, what is that underneath this? I don't know why they would throw a blanket on top of there, but I know that that thing's gonna manifest into a demon tonight when you're trying to sleep. This is the exact plot of arachnophobia. <laughs> um, we are getting no activity um, from the REM pods. We're getting no activity as far as I know. Really with the spirit box, there's a few things coming through it, but um, nothing too crazy. I feel like Something may be able to happen if we were able to focus, but the people outside um, talking really throwing us off, so. Okay, so I'm, I, I will say the investigation in your room tonight um, was a little bit of a miss, but that's fine. You know what? All the activity can happen in your room every single time, so let's go up to my room. We are back in my room. And <laughs> Thank you for turning that off. Um, we're back in my room, and uh, we're going to see if this is the room that is haunted in this hotel. Um, we have the Boo Bear set up. We have, obviously, the laser gray that you just saw um, blind me. And inside my closet here, we have a motion sensor. Um, little thingy magic so if there's any movement inside the closet which would actually be really really creepy then that will alert us and let us know i also set up the REM pod over here as well just in case if everything starts going off i am gonna be happy and then i'll probably just leave and not even say was... night. all right let's turn the lights off are you good to go are you texting your ghost friends to let them know where we're at? Please show up. <laughs> Please come through. Don't, don't ghost me. Get it? Oh. oh! Turn the laser grid on. That way, if anything walks in front of the laser grid, then we will capture it. So we're looking for any shadows or anything like that. If there are any spirits here on the second floor, I want to welcome you into this room with us right now. I want you to try your hardest to communicate. You can turn. You can light the bear up. I'm still feeling very confused. I don't know if it's just the day that I'm having our walk. But... You're having a lot of trouble, like putting your words, like forming sentences. Oh, seriously, like. I'm never, I'm never this bad. <laughs> but I, I just, on it, I feel like I really cannot concentrate. <sighs> you know what? Like, I was kind of feeling like this on the last investigation that I'd done here as well, though. Like, there was a part where I was, like, in the middle of doing an uh, um, EVP session and I had to just get up and walk around and get a drink of water and stuff. It could be this. It could be the hotel. I feel right now, um, in your room, I feel dizzy, um, and I feel like, uh, like, mm -hmm. like I feel like I'm swaying back and forth, and just feel dizzy in your room. I didn't feel that way in my room. Other, other than feeling very, very dizzy and just kind of weird and not being able to string sentences together. Um, I'm. I thought I just heard your name from the spirit box, Jade. I was not paying attention. If you said my name, can you make something light up? Can you make the REM pod light up? Can you say my name again through the spirit box? Why don't you want to show yourself to us? Why aren't you communicating with us? You don't have to be afraid. Step in front of the red light for us so that we can see that you're here. We just want to see that you're here. No. No. 
Okay, so we are heading up to the third floor just now. The third floor is where the prostitute got decapitated. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, well, um, Michael's possessed. This is also where Calvin the cowboy is said to be. So the third floor actually used to be a brothel and gambling hall, so... Um, and this couch here is actually an original couch from back in the day when it used to be a brothel. Oh, it's just a little lookout point for any gargoyles. These walls are thin. <laughs> I wonder if they know that there was a body found in their room. They probably do, and that's just their thing. <laughs> okay. We're done on the third floor. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's literally the most activity that's happened. <laughs> it was the only activity. Are there any spirits here with us right now that is said to haunt? this lobby if there are please come on up and touch this device that's on the table right now we came here today because we heard that there's spirits here trying to communicate so don't be shy now is your time can you let us know that you're here with us? No. Sounds like no. It sounded like a female saying yeah. no again. Like we we're getting the same thing through the spirit box. Okay, so right now we are gonna do an EVP session. Hopefully, we capture something on this digital recorder. <laughs> okay, so that was 30 seconds of us just laughing. <laughs> okay, let me try this again. Your battery just died? I literally just pressed play again. You don't, oh my God. This night is ridiculous. What is happening today? Okay. Um, God. I am so sorry. I really do apologize for what just happened. I'm not even sure what just happened there. Um, we've both been in a very weird, hazy, confused mood here. Um, again, we're not feeling like, you know, there's anything like in your face or anything like that. Um, Michael's camera just died, so he's gonna go grab Barry. So I'm here by myself. So let's see if me being here by myself helps at all. Is there anybody? Fourth time lucky. Okay, so now we're gonna conduct an EVP session. To be honest, I don't really wanna focus too much on you know the spirits that are said to be haunting this place. I just wanna see if there's anybody here. If there's 
any spirits here with us in this lobby right now, I want you to come over and I want you to speak into this black box here on the table. Can you speak into this black box? Give us a message. Can you tell me why you are here? Can you tell me your name? Was that you earlier that me and Michael felt? <laughs> I was half expecting like um, on the EVP session when I'm asking like, is there anybody here? Just like, no. <laughs> coming through because that's honestly like the only responses we've had so i feel like there might actually be something here but i mean i feel like should we just respect you know what is here to the point if they don't want to talk like they don't want to talk like i wonder if they're still going at it up there in 307 Okay, so we just wrapped up um, the world's weirdest EVP session. I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain that. Um, and also, nothing's happened on the REM pod, so um, I think I'm probably gonna call it a night, Michael. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we definitely wanted to go upstairs to the third floor and do more of an investigation up there, as that is said to be the most haunted floor. Um, but there was two people going at it uh, very, very loudly, so um, we didn't really want to disturb them. You know what? You win some, you lose some. Today was a bit of a loss. We, we were on a streak. We did good at the dairy. We did good at a bit more. We yeah. were good at Goldfield. So. Our last three investigations have been very, very solid. Like. Um, so the fact that we haven't gotten anything here, does it surprise me? No, not really. Um, am I bummed out? Yeah, kinda. Like, I wanted to have a spooky investigation tonight. Um, but we still had fun. Mm -hmm. We still had fun. <laughs> Alright, okay, it is the morning after. And um, I had an amazing sleep. <laughs> Michael, on the other hand, um, apparently he did not. I actually woke up this morning with a voice message from him saying that he was hearing a lot of noises coming from that heart-shaped jacuzzi. So um, I honestly feel like the scariest part of this entire investigation was that jacuzzi. Another weird thing that happened last night was when I left Michael in the lobby and I was walking upstairs, I bumped into like this random couple and he started asking me some questions about, because he saw that I had like my video camera and stuff like that. And um, I was like, no, I've not captured anything like super spooky tonight or anything like that. And he was like, oh, you should stay in room 307. I was like, oh yeah, I was there like six months ago. He's like, oh, that's the room that we're staying in. <laughs> I was like, oh. It was so awkward. Um, so yeah, I immediately like called Michael the second I got upstairs and I was like, um, yeah, I just bumped into the people that we heard have sex last night. But they were actually saying, and I don't know if this is like, if it's real or not, but um, when they went into room 307, they heard a man say flower and they thought that that was really weird and it kind of spooked them a little bit. They left their room and when they came back, they actually found like a plastic flower like on the ground in front of their bed. So they said that there's no way that anybody else like had the key or anything like that. So I don't know if that's paranormal or not. <laughs> Anyway, I am just ready to get out of here. Last night isn't exactly how I planned the night to go, but you know what? Again, you win some, you lose some, and unfortunately, last night was a little bit of a loss. I don't know if I'll really be back to the Glen Tavern Inn. Again, a lot of people have had experiences here, but I haven't really had any hits um, this day or last day. So <laughs> um, anyway, I have a really, really good lineup coming up for you guys um, in the next couple of months. And um, I know that those places are gonna be super, super spooky. So definitely follow, keep watching um, for those new up and coming investigations. Thanks again for watching guys. Have a good one, bye. Boy, that really was a show. Thank you.